Okay, Michael, so the second algorithm uh, that we're going to look at is just like principal components analysis, except it's called independent components analysis, okay? And the major difference is really the difference between the first word, uh, principal and independent. So the main idea here is that PCA is about finding correlation. And the way it does that is by maximizing variance. And what that gives you is the ability to do reconstruction. What independent components analysis is doing, often called ICA by those in the know, is it's trying to maximize independence. Very simply put, it tries to find a linear transformation of your feature space into a new feature space such that each of the individual new features are mutually independent. And I mean that in a statistical sense. So you're converting your xi, your x1, your x2, your xi, dot, 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 into some new feature space. Let's call it, I don't know, yeah, let's call it a y. y1, y2, yi, dot, 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 such that each one of the new features are statistically independent of one another. That is to say their mutual information is equal to zero. Does that make sense? And this is going to be a linear transformation? It's going to be a linear transformation. To, to make them statistically independent. So I find some linear transformation here, which is going to take my original feature space, which I'm representing with these x's, and transform it into a new feature space, such that if I were to treat each of these new features as random variables and compute their mutual information, I would get, for all pairs, a mutual information of zero. That's part one. And the second thing that it's trying to do is it's trying to make certain that the mutual information between all of the features, y, and the original feature space, x, is as high as possible. So in other words, we want to be able to reconstruct the data. We want to be able to predict an x from a y or a y from an x, while at the same time making certain that each of the new dimensions is, in fact, mutually independent in a statistical sense. I think I'm going to need an example. 